Now, when you don't floss, because, you know, you eat food and flossing sucks, so, ooh. One Piece, set six, four boxes, getting shrippened. While we talk about, I don't know, I didn't actually prepare anything. The last two videos I was talking about dental stuff, so maybe I'll talk about some dental things. But maybe I'll talk about something else. I don't know. What do you want to talk about? I can't hear you, so I don't know. So I'll just guess the thing that you want to talk about is periodontal disease. <laughs> Peridongus. A lot of people wonder why, bless them. Why does stuff, why do I have to brush my teeth? Why do I have to floss my teeth? Ooh, flossing. That's a good one. Let's talk about flossing while I search for a manga Zoro or a God Pack. I haven't gotten a manga Zoro or a God Pack so far. I'm two cases in. I think mangas usually are one in four cases, but you know, most sets, I don't know if they're done. And honestly, you know, I'd rather have an English one than a Japanese one, but it would be cool, cool if we got one, for sure. Um, anyway, periodontal disease happens between, you know, at the bone level of your teeth. And that's really one of the reasons why it's important to floss. So when you're flossing, you don't really just want to snap the floss in and out from between the teeth. You want to get down there and like clean the area between the teeth down into the gum tissue. So there's this little connection of tissue called your junctional epithelium. It's just tissue that exists at a junction. And that's at the junction of the bone and the tooth structure. And there's a little bit of tissue that sits there that protects that. Now when you don't floss, because you know, you eat food and flossing sucks. So, ooh, wow. That's dope. That is a hot alt art. Very cool. Very, very radical. Haven't seen that, so very psyched to see that. Anyway, you eat food because you don't want to die, obviously, right? So you got to eat food. So you're eating food and you're getting some food caught between your teeth. Now that food attracts bacteria. And when the bacteria get to the food, they digest the food and they produce acid. And that acid can break down that little tissue connection. And when the tissue connection gets broken down, bacteria can make their way down to the bone level and they can start basically breaking down the bone that's supporting the tooth. And then you lose the bone support around your teeth and then you get periodontal disease. Oh, we got an alt art leader. Okay, who haven't we seen? Who do we want to get? I don't even know who's in the set. Uta? I would love to see Uta. Thank you. Thank you, One Piece card game. Thanks for loving me. I love you too. Um, but that should be it for this. I, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else in this box, but I'm still going to strip them just because I feel like there's something weird about this set. It's starting to like me, though, I think a little bit more. I felt like that opening that Uto was like a response of the set being like, all right, Goku, we're starting to get used to you. Anyway, you want to prevent that from happening, and the way to prevent that from happening is flossing. Floss every day. You really only need to do it once a day at night is fine but when you floss your teeth at night you know you get that stuff out from between there and then there's nothing attracting the bacteria to get down there and produce problems for that junctional epithelium and they keep your teeth healthy you can also get cavities um, from not flossing you know especially if you like have some sticky sugary stuff between your teeth but a nice trick i like to get from a to b bless them you know, because you're not always going to get a chance to brush your teeth multiple times a day, and you may eat a snack that's sugary. And if you have a sugary snack stuck to your teeth and you don't brush them, that sugar can attract some bacteria that can produce acid that can break down the tooth structure. And we don't want that. So, a nice little trick you can do it is you can, after you eat some candy or something sweet or drink soda or have a, you know, a snack that has like lots of carbohydrates with sugar in it, like goldfish or something like that. You can go get a mouthful of water, and you can swish with that water for 60 seconds. And swishing with that water for 60 seconds will get a lot of that sugar off of your teeth, and then that at least gets you from A to B a little better. So even if you can't brush your teeth right at that moment, swishing with some water is better than nothing because sugar is water soluble. So the sugar will get dissolved by the water, and then you swish it out of your mouth, and then you don't have that sugar sitting on your teeth. And that's definitely better than having the sugar just sit there because if you don't, that sugar is going to attract bacteria again, and you can get cavities amongst another myriad of issues. So I think cleaning your teeth and taking the time to, you know, create a routine where you feel psyched about the way that you're cleaning your teeth and you feel better by cleaning your teeth is, is really important. I've talked about this in other videos, but gaining that proprioception of feeling the stuff on your teeth, that's really the goal. 
Because if you can get to the place where you feel it, you're not gonna let it build up, right? You're gonna feel like, oh, my teeth are gross. I want to, I want to, I want to clean them. I make the same. Uh, I make the relationships to like wiping your butt, right? Like after you take a big poop and you're sitting on the toilet, you're not gonna just like get up and walk away. Maybe you might take a chance. You know, sometimes there are those ghost poops that like really don't have anything you need to wipe for whatever reason. But you usually at least check. You usually want to be sure that there isn't something nasty on there. So you go in and you clean it off. And wait, did I? I pulled it. Is it no, no, no. The Uto is in the last box. Still haven't pulled Maltar from this. What's it? Gonna, where's it going to be? Is it in the Blessum? Oh man, Blessuming and Altar. Can we just get a Manga Zoro? Can this just be a Manga Zoro, please? Wouldn't that be so cool? If this was a Manga Zoro, I would love to see one with my eyes. This is definitely going to be an alt art, and it is a regular Zoro. That's all right. That's okay. I'm going to take it anyway. I mean, even the regular art. The regular art and the alt art in this set look sick. And it's a cool card. It seems pretty powerful. I don't remember exactly what it does. I will know eventually when the set comes out in English. I'll have a better idea of what it does. But it looks kind of wild. All right. Next box. Oh, man. I would really bless them. Love to see. I haven't pulled... Uh, actually, I pulled a lot of mangas in set for English. So I feel like my, my manga uh, catalog has been filled up a bit. And I... Oh, Nico Robin. The full art Nico Robin. Look at that. Borderless. Reminds me of Kaizoku cards. Speaking of which... Thought I'd show some cool Kaizoku cards here. I got this, you know, this is one I think a lot of people like. This is a, an eternal print now, always available. All my other cards are serialized usually. So since Uta's in this set, actually this Uta's coming out in this set. And I think, no, this isn't this set Uta. This is the starter Uta. This will be coming out sometime in February, I think. They're all serialized. Check them out. Kaizoku cards. Really fun stuff. I got like cool stuff like Ultra Instinct Luffy. Really, really fun. Really exciting thing. So go check out Kaizoku cards. I, I really enjoy making them. And let's see if we can just get a Manga Zoro. Okay, the last time I opened a Nico Robin, there was a secret rare in the same box. And it was a secret Zoro. So if we could just open another secret in this box, but if it could be a Manga Zoro instead of the secret Zoro, how cool would that be? But really, there's only one way to find out. Do you know what way that is to find out? If you know, please leave it in the comment section below. The answer is in the comment section below. I hope somebody wrote it down there because I really hope that somebody knows what the answer is because I say it all the time and the only way to know is rip them. Is it a Manga Zora? No, it's a Moria. Rats in a basket. I heard also that there is a possibility that you can get two Manga Zoros in a case. That sounds kind of wild. That sounds kind of really wild. I couldn't imagine like getting two mangas in one case that would feel so good but i also i'll you know i think by the time this video comes out actually i probably will have opened a lot of set five but i am hoping to get some mangas in set five i didn't open any mangas from japanese set five yeah i still do have some cases but i think i'm going to save them i think my intention there is to keep those sealed as long as possible because i do think that's going to be a very valuable set to keep sealed but if there was potentially a manga in there I really just wanted the manga Luffy. I do like the way the other mangas look. But definitely that Gear 5 manga Luffy. Man oh man. Sanji. So there is. That's the second time we pulled a Nico Robin and a secret in a box. And they were both the other Straw Hats. The so last time it was Zoro, this time it was Sanji. That's interesting. I wonder if we'll find out more info on that in our next case. I'm going to be doing it right after I record this, actually. I'm opening some, uh, some cases live. So we'll see how that goes. All right, that's three boxes. This is going to be the last box for this video series. Last box of this case. And it seems like it's just going to be one hit in this box. And I'm pretty sure... I think we've opened all the secrets. There might still be one more secret. I actually have all the alt art hits right over here from the previous boxes, so let's see. Well, these were from boxes before. But there's one secret. That's it. So I think I think this is just going to be a secret. Which means I think there's a chance that it could be a Mangazora. 
which I would love if I could just bless him a Manga Zoro. How cool would that be right now? Bless him, Manga Zoro. Let's manifest. Manifest energy. Enough about teeth. Let's get this Manga Zoro to come out because he keeps his sword in his teeth. And you gotta have strong teeth if you wanna carry a sword in your teeth, which I would not recommend to anybody. I do not think it's wise to keep a sword between your teeth. But I also think Zoro is really cool, and I'd love to see a card with manga panels and Zoro and his sword between his teeth. Wouldn't that be cool? I think it's I think it's about time. I think it would be pretty dang rad if that would just come out of one of these packs. I did pull an Altar Shanks in another, in another video that Altar Shanks was really sick. I also haven't seen any of the Altar Dawns in this box. Weird. Yeah, there hasn't been a single Altar Dawn in this box, in this case. Huh. I wonder if they reduce the number of those that are in these boxes? Because the last case I opened, there was an Altar Dawn in every box. Wait, this is weird. There's some, I'm telling you, there's something weird about this set. They got something weird in this set. I don't know what it is, but the Japanese Wave 1 of this set, there's something strange going on here. So... Maybe one day we'll find out more details on that. I don't know what the details are right now, but if a manga Zoro would just come out and say hello, I know he's in this set somewhere. I don't know if he's in these packs, but I'd love if he was. I think for the whole Joe crew and everybody watching here to see a manga Zoro emerge with his sword in his teeth after all we've been doing is talking about teeth. I feel like it's very fitting. But either way, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a secret rare in this box. I feel quite confident. I think there were four secret rares per case. And we're getting pretty close. We're getting very close. There's, there's two packs left. And we haven't pulled a heat, so it's either in this or this. And it would be really cool if it was just a manga Zoro. No, this is it. This is it. Last pack of the case. Whew. Manga Zoro. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Be right here. Not. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Kaizoku cards. I do make shiny cards. I love making shiny cards. I think one that I'm going to do in the future, I think I'm going to reuse this art and do something new with this art because I really liked this one and people seem to like it. So I think I'll bring it back. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Thanks for coming by. And I'll see y'all in the next one.